What's your favorite subreddit to binge read? R slash def. I'm a closed captioner, and it's very useful to get a glimpse into the community that I've never worked hard enough to be able to truly communicate with, even though I like to think I provide them with an essential service. I want to start learning ASL too. I know a tad, and being able to communicate with deaf or ho h in public sometimes brightens them right up. Smiles for days, especially the older people. You don't only help deaf people. My hearing's fine, but I can't understand half of what's being said in films or TV without subs. Tomorrow on BuzzFeed, top 10 subreddits to binge while in quarantine. OMG for real, I've noticed that. For time to time they will make an article, based on what's trending on r slash as credit. Slash r slash unresolved mysteries. If anyone wants other sub slash threads themed around unresolved mysteries, r slash non murder mysteries is great for stuff that doesn't relate to murder cases. It's good if you like interesting mysteries about unimportant stuff. For specific mysteries, there's r slash Jesus, a mostly solved mystery about a weird little set of fantasy stickers from the 1980s, and r slash Themistiblia about a 1980s song that nobody knows the name or creator of. There's also this thread on r slash Comixtrifa story, which is about a minor mystery that's still unresolved, although the sub itself isn't. r slash Ask Historians. Such a good subreddit. I love that sub too. The deleted answers can be frustrating to see, but the strict moderation is why the answers are such high quality r slash ask history doesn't have near the same level of moderation which makes it more fun, but also less reliable. r slash idiots in cause I just watch things. I love this sub I've lost hours scrolling through it. Slash r slash legalibus. I have no idea why I'm not a lawyer and have never been sued or had to sue anyone. I just like reading it. I love the ones involving trees. Definitely r slash Amish. I fell for it. r slash Amifis hold filtered to us whole votings. It's amazing how idiotic and narcissistic people can be and not know it. One of my favorites is definitely the one where the dude just can't control his eating problems and ends up eating like 75% of a giant sub meant for a party r slash hfy is currently experiencing the rise of a legend one man has put out over 120 chapters sometimes two or three a day he has built an amazing universe and continues to do so at breakneck speed i highly recommend checking it out if you are into sifi or general humanity fuck yeah slash r slash dream text so many different things happen in people's campaigns that I'm always guaranteed something good if I head over there. I always wanted to get into D&D, but there are too many versions and I don't even know the basics. I'm in this state where I'm super excited because I want to start this journey, but I see lots of different things and I don't understand what am I supposed to buy. Complete beginner here. Never played it, never seen an actual game, but I'm super intrigued r slash relationship underscore advice i'm not sure why it's my dirty pleasure but i feel like after reading all the shit people go through and the comments that i can spot red flags in people from a mile away now most people when you look through rose colored glasses all the red flags just look like flags relationship underscore advice everything is flags all the time and all of them are red everything is red and flags I love reading posts in r slash personal finance, some posts are useful, but many of them are things like, I just got my $500 tax return, I have no emergency fund, should I use my tax return, to donate to my church, or pay my bills? Besides r slash credit, when I want long stories, I'll go to r slash reddit see reels, short ones, I'll check out r slash hfy. When I want to binge art, I'll go to r slash imaginary Liviathans and r slash reasonable fantasy. Tiff also has a ton of creative fiction on there too. Edit, I'd recommend checking out all the imaginary art subs. There's tons of good stuff on the r slash imaginary monsters, r slash sympathetic monsters, r slash imaginary futurism too. For more reading, there's stories on r slash writing prompts, but you never know what you're going to get. Tafu has become almost nothing but creative fiction. Entertaining to read, but getting sick, if all the sexual fiction. 
Edit. Apparently people are trolling the subs I put up. So I've removed the links. Please be cool to each other guys. R slash botched surgeries and r slash instagrams reality because I'm insecure, suffered from eating disorders, and looking at those subreddits helped motivate me to keep working out plus eating healthfully, to achieve a healthy and realistic physique. R slash just no more, I cannot believe how many batched crazy mothers in law there are, women who go to great lengths, and will stop at nothing to destroy their sons relationships, make their daughters in laws life a living hell, women so selfish, mean. Nasty, narcissistic entitled, emotionally incestuous jacasta syndrome, baby rabies infested psychopaths. R slash a credit and r slash what is this thing? R slash what is this thing? Once a week I go there, and time just disappears. R slash cool guides. R slash not the onion news articles that you'd think are from the onion, but are actually real. There's some absolutely mind-boggling stuff in there. R slash not alep. Till Brooklyn. R slash unpopular opinion, sorted by controversial. You really get an insight into the depths of the human psyche. In a perfect world, sorting by controversial on that sub you should just end up seeing loads of popular opinions. But, oh well. Slash r slash talus from tech support maybe. R slash wedding shaming. On the same line. Slash r slash Britizillus. I'm a guy and still like to read the drama now and then. Slash r slash cosy places. Slash r slash landscaping. Slash r slash room porn. Plus all of the subs it links. Slash r slash amateur room porn. Slash r slash man cave. Slash r slash woodworking. And then the dozens of animal subs. Am I the only one that this thread is a gold mine too? I mainly use reddit to read before bed, and boy oh boy do I have some material now. Thank you everyone. R slash reading prompts is fantastic. Sometimes they have short series and other times it can basically become a small novel, but extremely talented writers on that sub. Sometimes the stories even turn into real, published works. It's amazing to watch the authors and their stories grow with time if you send a bot to follow the writers you like. R slash let's not meet and r slash see real killers. R slash rap girl stories. For jeeks that feel bad about themselves, seeing the ashats they talk about there makes you think, wow, at least I'm not that cunt. It's amazing how many of them are basically about sexually assaulting people, often a player character, in game. Like of course most people don't appreciate that. That should just be common sense. R slash spicy, r slash sauce ass knobs, r slash hot sauce erocytes, r slash hot sauce, r slash mexican food, r slash tacos. Just joined your whole list. Thanks. I'm high as fuck right now and really appreciate this post. Love binge reading interesting shit while stoned. Some of my favorites. Slash r slash life of them. A subreddit about writing small fictional tales about a fictional character named Norman. A rather unremarkable fellow. Slash r slash unresolved mysteries. One of my favorite subs about mysterious cases that have yet to be solved. Slash r slash ammo disasters. A sort of museum for ammos that have gone totally wrong. Slash r slash death hub, a bit like. Slash r slash best of, four for really in-depth discussions. Slash r slash reddit reddit scenefold. A fun little sub, where people write scenes from scenefold based on prompts. Slash r slash the Gritopist, a great little subreddit about accounts from history not often talked about because of their tragic and often violent nature. Slash r slash historian anecdotes, pretty much speaks for itself. Mostly content from the creator of the sub who also does TGP, but others contribute too. Slash r slash fan theories, a great sub full of some pretty great theories about movies, shows, and books. Edit, wanted to add slash r slash Jessica Shannon. The name of the sub is pretty misleading about what it's about, but it's basically a true crime subreddit with some great retoops by Jessica and other contributors. Hey, thanks for the shout out on my history subs. Sorry I haven't been very active lately. Work has been killing me with this coronavirus thing. R slash copper pasta every post is a whole thing by itself. R slash today alert. R slash lawnker. R slash and Tim. 
just discovered it recently, and can't stop reading it. Slash r slash true gaming, just discovered this sub yesterday, and I'm really loving it. Thoughtful discussions about video games and their mechanics are very interesting to me, and it has really opened my eyes to a lot of fun facts and lets me learn some cool stuff. Just scrolling through the sub and opening posts you find interesting, is guaranteed to keep you delightfully entertained. R slash RBI, Reddit Bureau of Investigation. Reddit is trying to solve real life mysteries. Surely there's no way this could go awry. R slash Lockered Away by U slash Omegorapan is a collection of his experiences with choosing beggars and general butthole customers. As a bartender, I live vicariously through this business owner and his wonderfully witty smackdowns 10 tenths. It's turned into a dark depression rant recently. Just a warning, but thanks my dude. R slash Habidrama is great, as is R slash Unresolved Mysteries, and its smaller cousin, R slash Non Murder Mysteries. I'd probably binge read r slash comicstra for story, if it weren't for the fact, that most of the posts on that sub are from me. Don't forget r slash picture a Sophie and sleeping. r slash power washing porn somehow better than oddly satisfying. Go to r slash relationship advice and sort by controversial. I'd recommend a nice cold beer and some popcorn, to go with the literature. I sometimes go on r slash room detective and look at a few months of rooms, it's not a terribly active sub though. r slash to less from their front desk some of the best of all time ones are my favorite and most memorable. r slash amethyst hole, r slash pater revenge, r slash pro revenge, r slash malicious compliance, I am an angry person, anything similar, please recommend. slash r slash learn form collection of long form articles from in-depth investigative journalism. Seriously underrated and informative reads on a wide range of topics. r slash creep ask reddit. r slash askman. I'm a woman who has been in mostly wlw relationships, but I'm open to dating men. I was sexually assaulted, and I know that was because of a minority of shitty men. I thought it would be helpful to get a perspective of life from normal men. And when it comes to dating, learn what not to do and stuff. I've taken some psychology classes and ask men confirmed that so many men are really lonely. They may not hardly ever receive compliments, or have been held by someone they love, or have felt safe enough to cry in front of their loved one. I get to see their hearts while they are safely anonymous. I also learned that men just want you to say what you want. If you want a hug out, ask for it. If you want pizza, talk about it. Just communicate. Ask Science Fiction is also great, 